Every year, the relatives visiting Rokunjimo would let out a sigh of admiration at the rose garden that first greeted them. They would stop there to chat about the rose's beauty and how well they were blooming that year. In the midst of all this, there was a single unhealthy rose, and Maria became overwhelmed with dejection at its condition. But George used his quick wits, and in saying that everything would be fine if they took care of this poor thing, marked it with a candy wrapper and immediately restored Maria's good mood. Then Badler, with whom she'd been getting along well since whom she'd been getting along well since that morning, started talking about Halloween. This was such a favorite topic of Maria's that she began playing around energetically again. To Maria, that marshmallow jack-o'-lantern candy bought by her mother was probably the greatest sort of treasure. They seemed to have brought several, and she demanded a trick-or-treat from every person she met, giving them candy instead of the other way around. Maria, why is it so much like Halloween? I think it's a very interesting event for Japanese people. I think it's a very interesting event for Japanese people. I think it's a very interesting event for Japanese people.普段と違う格好をして、はしゃぎ合うってのは楽しいぜ。うーん、多分僕はもう少しディープな理由によるものだと思うな。何しろ、魔女のマリアちゃんだからね。そういや、飛行場でもマリアは仮装するならマジョにな
10月と11月の狭間は生と死が最も近くなるケルト人たちはこの時期に聖者の世界と死者やこの世ならざる者の世界が最も近づき異界の住人たちがたくさん訪れると信じてたの日本でいうお盆みたいなものだよ<笑> At the time, people believed that souls returning to the physical world would go into people's houses or possess people and do bad things. So, in order to avoid harm, they performed rituals. One of those, ri one of those was to imitate creepy monsters and scare the souls back, which was apparently a way to avoid being possessed. <laughs> わしもハロウィンに備えない言われがあるなんて知らんかったわしかしそれのどこにお菓子をくれなきゃいたずらしちゃうぞってのが出てくるんだ Her knowledge was so extensive that the adults had suddenly started listening to Maria was normally treated like the youngest all, all the time puffed out her chest with pride Saying that this was just a kids discussion Rosa suggested that the adults go on ahead and sit their luggage down in the guest house But nobody else agreed to go with her and she let out a heavy sigh Yeah, get fucked Rosa <laughs> トリートは単なるお遊び本来のケルト人たちの儀式とは何の関係もないそれは後にキリスト教の習慣が混合してできたものなのでもマリアは本来のハロウィンの姿とはそうあるべきだと思うの According to Maria, the souls of the dead weren't the only ones who visited from the non-human world There were also spirits with intimate connections to people's everyday lives Humans could receive favors from those spirits so they'd manage to gain magnificent blessings As well as a year's worth of good crops. Oh. つまりハロウィンってのは収穫祭の意味も少しはあったわけかなるほどな言われてみりゃ10月ってのは季節的にもいろいろ節目って気がするぜ日本の4月のちょうど反対側だもんなうんなるほどキリはいいかもしれねえなおいそしてね魔女たちはねその時期に魔女集会サバトを開いたの魔女たちは豊かな恵みをもたらしてくれた精霊たちに感謝しねぎらったのハロウィンの仮装は向こうから来る客人たちの模倣つまり彼らにお菓子を施すのは一年の収穫への感謝の気持ちがあってもいいわけだね Is there the Halloween costumes imitate the guests that come from the other side? Which, like, makes sense for, like, traditional Halloween costumes, like mummies and zombies and whatnot. But now it's just imagine just, like, Halloween costumes imitate the guests that come from the other side, like minions. <laughs> it's like. I can just imagine, like, fucking portals opening, fucking, like, Doctor Strange style. And you just. You see, like, fucking demons and shit, like, crawling out of hell, and then just, like, a fucking minion walks out of one. <laughs> Dear God, no! <laughs> the most terrifying creature of them all! <laughs> oh, oh, that fucking cracks me up. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh god. Oi! Georgie, Oni, Chan, no, you told me! Tsumari, Halloween, wa, kono yo to ano yo no, kouriu no aru jiki te wa, so de? Tsumari, majo tachi ni totte wa, so yu sekai no kakujin tachi, so yi tai wa ke ga? Oh! Batra no, you told me! Dakara ne? Dakara ne? I don't know what, enlighten me. Oh, really? Fuck. I'll make that bitch come. I mean, what? So, then, 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 そしてね、ルーンの秘密を習って、早く早くマリアを立派な魔女にしてもらうの。I'm pretty sure you get dragged to hell like the rest of us. あらあら、それは素敵ね
子供は夢があるのが一番よところでローザーマリアちゃんは今年でいくつになったんだったかしらもうそのお話は終わりにしなさい気にしないでローザさん女の子なら誰だって一度は思い描く夢じゃないあ,ありがとうでももうマリアはそういう年を卒業していますのでこらやめなさいと言ってるでしょローザスコールマリア trying to shut her up before a cheery discussion about black magic earned the, the snickers of the relatives へえーそいつはなんだかスケールのでかい話だなところでベアトリーチェって誰だっけえー、なんだっけえっとえっと聞いたのは誰だっけえっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっと、えっ When he saw that, Badler immediately remembered what, that it was the name of the witch of this island, but the damage had been done. Until Maria's mood improved, she went on and on about many mysterious and fabulous episodes regarding the Golden Witch. Jesus, what is that face? Kanon-kun, I'm going to go. I don't, I don't like it. 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 I think I like Rosa even less than I like Ava. Because at least Ava doesn't beat her child. She's strict with her child. That's okay. It's okay to be strict, alright? But at least she doesn't beat the shit out of her kid. That I know of. That I know of. For all I know, there's gonna be like some moment where it's like, Oh yeah, flashback to George when he was like 10, getting the shit kicked out of him by Ava. And they'll be like, oh shit, Ava's even worse than... But until we see something like that, fucking Rose is the top of my shit list. So then, I'll be back. Goda led the relatives, and they began to head towards the guest house. They were eager to set down their luggage and take a breather, so they didn't realize that Rosa and Maria weren't coming with them. <sighs> Here it comes. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? After watching them leave towards the guest house, Rosa's face changed suddenly. She let go with the hand that had been gripping Maria this whole time. There was a bright red mark there, making it clear how much excessive force she'd been using on Maria's slender arm. Cunt. Oh my god. The hand then slapped against Maria's head, pinched her left ear, and lifted. Oh my fucking god. Cunt. Yeah! She's a kid with a fucking interest. Get off her ass, you cunt. Yeah! She does! Asshole! Age doesn't fucking matter! Knowing fun facts about something you enjoy is just fucking human nature, goddammit. <laughs> You're nine years old. Motherfucker, I know plenty of grown-ass women who pro who fucking love Halloween. They, they know all the shit Maria knows, alright? I know plenty of grown-ass women in their 20s and 30s who'd be like, you tell them like, hey, you know the history of Halloween? And they fucking got like a spreadsheet out of there. They'll fucking pull up all the Wikipedia art articles. They'll fucking, they got fucking info and info for days. They got pages and pages, articles and articles and shit. Like, oh yeah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh, you wanna know about Halloween? Let me tell you something about Halloween. Acting like it's fucking, yo, immature to know a lot about a subject you're fucking interested in. Suck my fucking dick and balls. You know what? No, you're not even deserving of sucking upon my dick and balls. You're nothing. You don't even deserve to have genitals in your mouth. Your mouth will taint my genitals, and I don't want that. 
You fucking suck. God, I hate Rosa so much. Bitch. I'm gonna go out of my way to fuck. As Rosa cursed, she twisted Maria's ear up, almost as though she was about to tear it off. An expression of anguish spread across Maria's face while she frantically stood on her tiptoes, trying to soften the pain in that ear. Rosa suddenly grabbed the candy that Maria had been holding. No! No! Oh, fuck. I'm fucking seething right now. Oh my god. Ooh. She threw it on the ground and stepped on it over and over. To Maria, it was supposed to be proof of a memory, the brief span of a time when her mother had bought something fun for her. And now that same mother was grinding it into the ground right in front of her. It was as though a brand had been pushed into Maria's eyes, leaving a mark that could never be erased. What's your fucking deal, asshole? As she said that, she struck Maria's head over and over again with her palm. Yeah, I'm sure you're doing her a lot of favors by giving her concussions and brain damage. You fucking cunt. She didn't hit Maria's face, because the red swelling would stand out. Maria closed her eyes tightly, patiently bearing her mother's violence. No, that wasn't quite it. She kept bearing Rose's assault, muttering that over and over. Rosa, tired from hitting her daughter, breathed so hard, her shoulders shook. Maria grasped her hands together, withstanding it, hoping her mother would return soon. Oh my fucking god. I hate this so fucking much. So she said, Majo demo, Halloween demo, Hitsuma demo, Butsubu, the story they tell you know you. After hurling those words at Maria, Rose left in the direction of the guest house, leaving Maria behind. No, not the candy. Maria, forgetting even that it was okay to cry. Kept staring down at the jack o' lantern candy that had been trampled beyond recognition. Maria! No. Ara Rosa! Okay. Well, <laughs> now that I am thoroughly irritated and my mood has been killed like none other. I think I'm going to end this one here. going to end this recording session here. Um, I hope Rosa dies a very violent death. And I mean more so than what she had already received. I want her to suffer. She fucking sucks. Lowest of the low. Easily my least favorite character. Le least favorite. Easily the worst character that's been introduced. Can't stand her. Um, yeah. going to end this recording session here. Uh, it's either going to be a quick jump cut or a new video, but regardless, I'll see you guys in the next recording session. And uh, honestly, you know what? I can't wait for Ava to obviously have some choice words for Rosa. You know what? If Ava starts tearing into Rosa the way she was tearing into Nazi in the last episode, uh, you know what? Ava's going to go up a few ranks for sure. 
If Ava fucking lays some fucking verbal smackdown on DeRosa, oh, oh, you know what? She will rise from the ashes as the fucking cunty phoenix that she is, all right? <laughs> no, no, Ava's a bitch, all right? Bitches can be redeemed. Rosa's a cunt. She can burn in hell. But anyway, I digress. End of recording session. Jump cut, vi new video, whatever. Next recording session. Bye. What is up, everyone? And welcome back to Umi Neko. Episode 2, Turn of the Golden Witch. In the previous recording session, I don't fucking remember what happened. <laughs> oh! Oh, actually, I just scrolled up and I see the last fucking line. Okay, 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 yep, nope, I'm upset again. <laughs> I apparently had completely blocked that out of my memory. Yeah, no, that was, uh oh, I'm upset again. God damn it. I think I purposely like made this the stopping point last time because I was so upset and didn't want to go on any further. And all I had to do was just scroll up once, see this one line, and I was like, yep, okay, I'm fucking pissed. God, I fucking hate Rosa. <laughs> I really do. Also, I haven't been spoiled on anything specifically, but someone did, yo, know, say something to me that kind of, yo, know, prepares me for one of the later episodes. Because on Discord, I made, like, my custom status, something about, like, how much I fucking can't stand Rosa. And then, like... <laughs> In one of the servers I'm in, someone pings me. Is just like, oh, hey, I see your status. So you finished episode four, huh? I'm like, hold up, what? <laughs> episode four? Nah, I'm only in episode two. It gets worse, and they're just like, oh, well, uh, have fun. <laughs> so I'm already fucking, yo, incredibly upset as w at where we are here now in episode two. And I, dear God, I am... Not ready for whatever the hell episode four plans to throw in my, plans to throw my way. I mean, there's no point even thinking about that yet. I mean, shit. I'm only six hours into episode two. Chances are, by the time I get to episode four, I'll have completely forgotten what that dude had said anyway. But still, the fact that yo somehow, some way, Rose is gonna get even worse. I'm I'm terrified. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Didn't I say, like, last time, too, at the end, of, I think I remember, like, after this whole shit went down with Rosa, that Ava shows up here, and I was, like, hoping to God that Ava would just absolutely give Rosa so much shit, as much as I can't stand Ava. <laughs> like, I want her to tear into Rosa right now, just because Rosa fucking deserves it. I mean, Rosa deserves nothing less than a truly painful death, but I'll settle for Ava just giving her so much shit, but... Enough of this intro, let's get back into episode two, shall we? Where did you go? Sorry. Oh yeah, the roses. Shut up. Rosa, hurry up and get some clothes. Let's go to Anakin and go to the house. Hmm? Okay, so I'm I'm just, I'm just trying to remember where I am in the story right now. So they just got to the island. They haven't even yo know, gone and said hello to Kraus yet. So we're still very early on in this yo know, turn of events. Maria chan wa dou shitan ya? Yeah, Hideyoshi, what did happen to Maria chan? Rosa, care to enlighten us? Mada kada ni orun kai na. Yeah, is she? Why is she not with you, Rosa? Huh? Care to enlighten us? Oh, is that what happened? Are you sure? Hey, Rosa. Are you sure? Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm facing the wrong way. Let me, let me, this way. This way. This way. This way. Fuck. My vi God damn, my video is mirrored anyway. Shit. One sec. One sec. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. <laughs> I totally ruined the bit now, but whatever. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> I, I have to. It, it's a matter of honor. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, this is pointless. Bit's over. Anyway. 
Oh, whoops, wrong spot. There we go. <laughs> Uh, totally flubbed it. That was great. Anywho, <laughs> that didn't happen. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, did ya? Did ya? Asshole. Don't be nice to her, Kyrie. Kyrie. That's right, her name's Kyrie. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I only recently learned that now that there's voice acting and they properly pronounced her name. It's Kirie. Yeah, sometimes you should respect your children, Rosa. Uh. ご案内いたします。こちらでございます。お荷物をお持ちいたしましょう。結構よ。自分で持てます。ありがとう。Rosa went into a room, guided by Gota. She then closed the door somewhat violently and threw her luggage on top of the bed. Yeah, throw a little hissy fit, you fucking cunt. She got down on her knees in front of the bed, burying her face in it. Good, smother yourself. For a while, Rosa made it as if sh to shred the sheets with her fingernails, sobbing constantly. I feel no sympathy for you. <laughs> 